Okay, so I wanted to share uh, a little bit about my testimony um, regarding um, what kind of spurred on and sparked the health journey that I'm on right now that I started. Um, yeah, so um, uh, at the beginning of 2018, in January, I um, was just tired of, you know, just being being overweight, being tired all the time, and just kind of just just fed up with you know nothing really working out. Me putting effort into um, into into diet not dieting but just into eating healthier and trying to be more active and it would work for you know about three weeks or a month and then something would happen like you know I, I would get sick or you know like whatever you know situation you know go out of town for the weekend whatever situation just kind of threw it off and it was just hard to to get back on track and so I was talking to the Lord about it you know um, just being honest before him and you know really decided um, at that point that I needed to to figure out like what is preventing me from moving forward because I have so much um, success in other areas of my life but in this one it's kind of uh, you know like not not really gaining the victory and the Lord was showing me that um, that I actually was afflicted by um, by um, the spirit of of gluttony and overeating as well as laziness and so it was always like um, quite the struggle you know to like just say, okay, I'm going to do it today, you know, and like, okay, I'm going to do these stairs or whatever it is, you know, or like, you know, okay, I'm not going to, I'm not going to have another serving, you know, even though it's delicious. So it was, it was a struggle, but you know, the Lord was showing me that it was not a hundred percent me, but like, um, you know, essentially evil spirits making me overeat or just be lazy and not and not work out so once I knew that 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 was actually affecting me um, I was like okay well <laughs> we need to deal with this you know and so um, you know I got prayer for um, for deliverance of this and um, once once I was getting the prayer like God was bringing to my remembrance like these kind of agreements that I made, um, like kind of like about about food or about my activity level, and he was reminding me even uh, about my childhood and how like you know I had made made decisions that like you know um, I wasn't gonna let you know uh, like. <laughs> I wasn't going to be one of those people that like, you know, whatever are, are so bound by counting their, their calories and needing to, to work out and, and anyways, be obsessed to, to that extreme. But ultimately, you know, like it was so strange because after I had the prayer of deliverance, um, like I went on my Pinterest account and I had like this these like boards with like you know different recipes and foods that I wanted to try and like some of them were like donuts and like I don't know at the time like when I was pinning them I'm like oh like I could fill this donut with like some sort of cream or 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 jelly or whatever whatever it is you know I was like oh that's that that sounds so good and then when I like went back to my account, I was like, this is disgusting. Like that's so disgusting. Like 
I was actually like disgusted with like certain like fried foods and certain things that like I had pinned on there. I'm like, oh my gosh, I would never eat this. This is disgusting. And so like I really realized that there was a change in me and that it was like, you know, the, the, the evil spirits in me that was like kind of lusting after that food. And then when they were gone, like evicted, uh, like I was just like so grossed out by it. So um, if you guys are going to go on, on a, on a, you know, health, health journey as well, I really recommend, you know, like, um, praying to God and asking for, for deliverance for certain things and just ask the Holy Spirit to reveal to you what, what those things are that are hindrances that are blocking you from f fulfilling, uh, uh, fully having victory, I should say in in those areas and so um the other one was was laziness and then um so yeah so after i got delivered of that i was just like i have so much energy <laughs> and like it was not uh, it, natural in a sense that I, I didn't get that energy like from food or from exercising it was just like like a weight was like lifted off of off of my mind or like off my body like a heaviness that was like pushing me down to the point that I was like it was so hard to work out like it's so hard to do this and that anyway so I was just like I can do this like I actually feel like okay there's nothing hindering me now it's just a matter of like actually doing it and so after I got deliverance from from those things <laughs> those evil spirits in my life, um, I asked God to give me a new mindset to have, like this mind of Christ that the Bible talks about, you know, to think about my health, myself, you know, um, the way that the way that God thinks about me. And so um, I just felt really, really good, you know, and at a perfect place to like, OK, I can finally do this. And um what else did I want to mention? Um, yeah, that's that's pretty much what I wanted to say that like, you know, this this deliverance actually like, oh, yeah, what I wanted to mention is like after after the deliverance, um, like without really even trying, um, I lost like 15 pounds. <laughs> like, just like that, like, well, not just like that, like, I was actually more more active, just like, you know, um choosing choosing to do like meal preps i was not like super successful at it but i was i was doing a lot better than than before in terms of like just eating out and being lazy to like cook dinners and stuff like that you know so um so yeah so from january to like um may may yeah about may anyways i lost like 15 pounds and then I was like okay you know what I gotta I gotta do this for real like I gotta commit to actually do this and not just like you know kind of like half half commit to something and so this is why I'm doing this this 60 day journey and why I'm I'm still looking forward to it and you know like I'm gonna be I'm gonna be real about it the whole way like I'm not gonna just make it seem like it's so easy and everything's perfect but honestly like if you're seriously thinking about doing this you know um you you may need to go through some deliverance because those demons are there to sabotage you know the enemy is there to steal to kill and to destroy but but god jesus has come that that we might have life and have it more abundantly and so the more that we allow god to to essentially you know dictate our actions in a way you know because it's like he gives us life he shows us like okay hey, you eating this is going to bring health to your body you know like you doing this activity is going to make you stronger you know and more more resilient to to a infection or disease you know whatever it is you know, us following his instructions is only going to bring more life to us, an abundant life. And us kind of like succumbing to like evil spirits saying, oh no, like we'll just work out tomorrow. Like, oh, like uh, I'm going to eat this donut because it looks delicious, you know. Um, I'm not saying I'll, I'll like 
like eating a donut is, is just super bad or it's never okay to eat a donut. But I'm just saying sometimes we have unhealthy like lusts for, for food, you know. And so anyways, so that needs to be kept in check. And so, you know, the enemy is there to like steal, kill and destroy. So when we go with the flesh instead of what the spirit is saying, like we're actually like ingesting and agreeing with the spirit of death essentially and and the enemy is going to steal our blessing so i just want to encourage you guys today um that if you're really serious about taking care of of your spiritual well-being as well as your physical well-being um know that they go hand in hand and that you know our body is the temple of the holy spirit and so our body as it houses the holy spirit we have to make like we have to we have to take care of it and so that's essentially what what my journey is all about and i really encourage you to do the same and to seek god as to as to how you can do that all right so god bless you guys and have a wonderful day